If you're looking for a John Deere that's just a little bit different, I think I got the one for you. Hey, what's going on everybody? It's DJ. Today we got some new and updated mods to take a look at for Farm Sim 22. In total, we have 27 mods. For all platforms, we have 15 new and 5 updates. And PC and Mac players have 5 new and 2 updates. Heads up, I don't actually have internet right now, so if you're watching this, I had to download everything and edit and upload view uh, with the tethering off my phone. It's going to be pretty rough. Uh, but I do make mod review videos every time mods are released on the in-game mod hub, even when I don't have internet or power. How do I do it? I don't know. Uh, but get subscribed if you're new. That way you never miss whenever this happens, inevitably again. All right, first up today, we got a new map, the Green Valley from Zero Ioto, and my trees are turning into strobe lights. I don't know if that's because I'm on a different computer because nothing's working in the studio right now or the fact that I don't have internet. Who knows? Nonetheless, I know that it's pretty, pretty frustrating. Nonetheless, uh, this has got a small village, some points of selling products. It's got a sawmill on here as well. Animal trader, custom vehicle shop, everything you would expect to find and a lot of open space. You do have some fields over here to the left and you've got a massive field over here to the right. Now, otherwise, everything else can be found in between. I don't have any slot counts for you guys because I don't have internet on the consoles, but I can show you some of the things that we own. We got a quite a few different John Deere tractors, a John Deere harvester. We got the Un Heinrich forklift, nice pickup truck for you guys, trailer, headers, stone pickers, goodness gracious, cultivator, cedars, planters, roller plants, everything, I think. Yeah. <laughs> one of everything at this point so there you go um there's a little introduction into the green valley most of the mods are going to be like this today just so i can get this done because i have to upload this video with the internet on my truck next up we got the john deere 7j this bad boy right here is from agritono and we've got quite a bit of customization to it so we've got 182 horsepower manual plus power shift transmission 470 liters of fuel 27 miles per hour we've also got 10.8 tons on it is pretty heavy as far as numbers go you could do numbers one through nine brands of wheels continental michelin midas trelleborg lizard and then back in again and we have multiple different versions of these we do have a nice little spread axle there i think that's pretty cool exhaust and trailer braking on here uh we've got standard we've got direct exhaust normal exhaust for trailer brake trailer brake yeah, maybe something added towards the back, something like that. Well, there you go. At Turtle Props, we've got seat on the inside. We also have a radio. We've got a thermos, seat plus radio, different versions of all of those things. As far as antennas and Green Star, we got a left antenna, right antenna, both of those. Then we got the Green Star three that or three right there. Green Star three three thousand one of the two. Two box of chains. We got a toolbox on here and we got a chain around the front. Can't be used, but it does look pretty cool. Window film. We've got a standard design one, two, and three. So four different levels there. If you guys want nothing, just go with, well, nothing. We also have rear weights, bud guards. We have a five hundred that you can throw on the back let's see those are just rear weights in general and then we've got a fender on the front and different stuff through there as far as cabin lights or headlights so we've got a couple different sets through there like that multiple option signaling we have left beacon right beacon both of them together we also have a uh an american traffic warnings right there with the beacons as well and then nothing a standard attachment on the front we have a 600 weight 300 weight 500 700 those are a little out of order and then we've got without rear hydraulics if you want to go with that that's kind of neat as far as your front loader attachment we've got a bumper on the front we've got a sugar cane bumper we have the hower the hower bumper and then back to it and then engines we have 182 200 and 195 horsepower. We also have 210, 215. Those are out of order. 225, 230, 265. And back down again. Didn't we just get a tractor like this or this tractor exactly like a week or two ago? I feel like we've seen this before. Nonetheless, there you go. The 7J. Next up from GNFS, we've got their Case Magnum Series Tractor. We got two different ones on here. Uh, we got a CVX and we have an AFS Connect series. Uh, as far as I can tell, both uh, variable transmission. So at least there is that. Let's start off with the Connect series. We have Lizard, Michelin, Trelleboard Tires, Continental, Rise Time, and back into that Lizard again. So you may want to go with that if you like the, uh, the front look. Not my thing, but hey, maybe it's yours, and that's totally cool. 
I like the Michelin tires, so we'll stick with that. Looks like we do have at least all, if not most, of the base game wheels in there, so that's nice. We've got a design of EU and US fenders, no and yes. Um, missing window exhaust, so the name for that is not there. However, we do have a couple different versions of that. Beacons, yes and no. Internal decals, we've got carpet, we've got boots. And we got all of them. As far as reverse beep, yes and no attachments. We got a three point on the front. We also have 430 kilogram weight, 650, 980, and back to that three point again. You can't do without. Would be nice to see a version without. Engine setup. So we've got the 374, 417. We have a 435 power shift and back down again. Main colors, black and red rim colors. We've got a couple different versions there. Now, moving over here, it looks like we're probably going to have the exact same options overall. And that's what it looks to be exactly. Yes. So we do have all of those. And it looks like engines are the same as well. So it's just two different versions. It's Magnum CVS or CVX versus the FS Connect series. From Blue Log and Bonnie, we have the new Holland T7 Tier 4A. This is 218 horsepower, variable transmission, 393 liters of fuel, 31 miles an hour, and it weighs 8.6 tons. Tons. As far as configs go, we have standard, blue power, Viet Agri, like that, and black. As far as your wheels go, we have Trelleborg, Michelin, Continental, Yon Counter Plus One, Midas, BKT, Bruston, and Nookin Tire. So we've got a whole lot in there. You do have narrows. You do have some rear twins and twins all the way around. Stuff like that. Doesn't look like we have any tracks, but I would be shocked to see tracks on a T7. As far as beacon lights, we've got duels on the back. Standard, back and forth between those. Standard, we have a front weight on there, or a three-point, or nothing at all. That's nice. Front loaders, we have the Quickie and the Hauer. Engine setups, 218 horsepower, 234, 250, 260, 269, and then back down again and then we got your license plate next up from slusha's money we have their lizard tank 40 these are mons i believe we saw these back at farming simulator 19 however we got them back we've got eu and uh us south america versions we have short and long rubber mud guards main color on here this is your color palette let's go with the red Ooh, i like that design color i assume this is going to be on the top let's go with yellow yeah and then rim colors are rim colors Boom, boom so this one holds 40,000 liters of slurry and digestate so that's pretty cool and then we've got the version with a dolly now we got the exact same customization there and then we've got a i see a little bit of a different version oh i see how they've done it so slurry and digestate or this version right here this will do all the other liquids so liquid fertilizer herbicide water milk and fuel and i'm looking it doesn't look like they work with um, the pumps and hoses dlc but it was worth a try i'm sure you can figure out something dolly version's nice because you can hook a bunch of these together We've got trailer hitches on there and then semi truck version at the front when you're ready hook that up here's an interesting one this is the lizard st 2031 included with the small tender pack from dog face so this is a lizard seed tender which holds all of your standard auger wagon crops then we've got a pickup truck that's been included with this as well that's kind of cool um you could do hot Bellaron, elm creek lizard logistics Hoofhound transportation and then back in you've also got vehicle numbers on here front bumpers we've got a pin attachment with a trailer hitch bumper bar and a standard as far as roof lights go we've got roof lights on the front roof lights on the back and standard again so if you want like a work truck or something like that could go with and they're using the base truck model so there you go uh, and then you've got a main color change whatever color you like and design color i assume it's going to be rims yeah it just says design color there instead that's not it because we also have what are these this looks to be a redone um ab tanker but it just says lizard logistics on it now i'm um, still fine with me cool with that Six thousand fifty-six liters of uh liquid fertilizer and herbicide and then we have a fuel only tank which appears to hook up on the back of the pickup truck so that's kind of cool as well 416 liters this is kind of a neat pack because you can pull a lot of different things with this. Next, from FBR Modding and Eddie and Crescinio, this is the Ultra Magnus 12,000. <laughs> hey, oh, love the name. At the end of the day, don't worry, it's just a trailer, though. 21,000 liter capacity, bulk capacity as well. You've got different colors for the main bit. We've got an extension color, which is on the very top, and we got rim colors. 
Pretty cool. Next new one for all platforms from AE Modding, the Lizard CX38 Tipper Trailer. This holds 38,000 liters. It's got what looked to be kind of really small wheels, but maybe, maybe not. Uh, it says missing green. I'm guessing that is the Branner green. Looks exactly like it, but you can change it to any color. We've got colors for the bottom and we've got rim colors as well. So let's say you want to use something similar to what I'm using right now on Griffin, Indiana. I think you can actually do this. Just change a bunch of colors to green. There you go. John Deere. Ba boom. Looks like it possibly hooks up together as well on the back, but I'm not quite sure about that. Next new one for all platforms is going to be the Lizard P15, P19, and P23 from Langrio Modding. This bad boy right here is a cultivator at the end of the day, but it does look pretty cool. I believe we got a PC only version of this a few days ago. Um, this is kind of neat though, I will tell you that. 110, 150, and 195 horsepower compared to all these. Uh, that's not bad, 3.4 tons. Uh, 5.8 meter working with you could change up the color of this as well so let's say you want to go with that john deere but you kind of can if you'd like to can't change up the rim color but you know what it's all good next up we have the ih 45 cultivator 50 horsepower four meter spread nine miles per hour you can throw an extension on the back don't worry doesn't do anything and then you can change up a design in the middle and we got a new plow mod from schweiger presses this is 1.5 meters seven miles per hour 180 kilogram different color plows uh, i'm also starting to think maybe on this computer i don't have half of the stuff installed that i should because a lot of the options are not showing up colors yeah not bad oh it's cheap too your next one comes from our friend solar guy modding this is the k brand silage pack and this is epic so we've got a special version of the sb1290 and we've got one that even has connections with a hitch on there and hoses everything you need i mean look at that he also put a crawler track i don't know what lgp stands for but it's like let's go dude i don't know <laughs> that's what i'm going for there uh you've also got a modified version of the k-brand sw4014 ultimate which goes well, faster. You've also got different hitches on here, so you can choose what you want there. Random foil color, that's a mod I've got installed so for all platforms, too. And then we've got a modified GA15131. Now, these are pretty darn sweet. We've got different wheel brands, depending on what you want to go with. You've also got, uh, well, a crawler track. That's cool. Different beacons, all kind of all over. We've got four little tiny beacons on top. Love that. Silage additive, yes or no body panel so basically we have a mixture of the 82 studio stuff in here and some custom stuff so we've got the winter wolf stuff which hasn't even seen the light of day yet uh we've also got the brands that are supposed to be on there we do have cloth we also have a cloth red corona green corona yellow uh kubota orange so if you guys want to match kubota stuff we've got the mac colors uh Telix phoenix pearl whites you've also got red race um, well, Jungle Fever, I mean, that's is almost, almost toothpaste track, actually, Tiffany's toothpaste track here. Uh, you have our old Citadel, a school bus, of stuff in here that you may have seen otherwise, and we've even got Nitro Blue Age, so you know what I'm going with. We've also got frame on here as well, so that's going to be the back part. We've got the tank itself, I'm going to change that to white, you see, my then popped up, because I don't think I've got the silage added tank actually even installed got it and then we've got the frame as well which is completely different we'll change that to bright yellow around that and the rim colors are rim colors and he's got my favorite chrome blackout one Ooh -wee. love 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 that all right so that's that now if you want to do bailing on the go then you want to go with this colors all match we've got all same similar wheel setups and things like that if you got those lgb the let's go dude wheels i don't i don't know what they're supposed to be called but they're let's go dude to me uh pin hitch like i said ball hitch and then you've got foil color there's all your foil colors frame so same thing as the uh other bits so you can make this look like a claws a corona whatever you like you can make it case you want to go with base game colors and then the modified version of this again color options oh, i love it and then we got let's go dude wheels on here as well they are chunks let me tell you what um we do have frame colors for this this will be kind of neat let's go with a case age color so we'll go case red and the rim colors on here uh you can either go well dark steel's not really the one to go with there is it stainless steel that'll work there you go case kind of cool huh 
uh, the K brand silage pack. We do have some placeables as well. Uh, I don't have good enough frame rate on this computer to show you guys the placeables in the game, so we'll have to do it here. First one, build your own farm silo from Thalver. Uh, Multi-food farm silo and decoration silo grids. It can be found in category silos. You got unloading station, multi-food farm silo, large, normal, and small, where you can store all bulk materials, including fertilizer and lime, and all have a, fi a flap that you can open and close. There's category silos. You also have a discharge pipe for loading your trailer, which is foldable. And then this uh, can be placed on any house, tree, silo, or whatever you want. Uh, and then you also have a category decoration object. You have three decorative silo grids, which unload triggers can be embellished. I uh, all have a flap that could be open and closed. That's kind of cool as well. Pretty cool stuff here. Again, you've got kind of like a create your own, um, create your own farm silo. Look at this. That's pretty cool, man. Next up, we've got the heating plan from Zodal Zock. The CHP plan can burn hay, straw, wood chips, bark, mulch, hay pellets, straw pellets, wood pellets, and manure pellets, Ugh. and produce heat, electricity, and ash as a waste material. The pellets can be produced with a pellet mill electrically and or electricity and heat can be sold directly or distributed directly to another production that uses electricity and or heat using the distribute function. The ash that can be sold at the will wholesale, which is a little Zog mod, or processed in productions that processes ash. And your last new mod today is going to be the old garage building from Maddie J Mods. You know, it's going to be a good one if they made it. The old large building for agricultural machinery. It's going to cost you 100 grand, 15 bucks per day. Not bad. As for mod updates, let's take a look at those for all platforms. First is Mecklenburg Lake District version 1.2. Adjusted the walkway. Production XML capacity has been increased. BGA can be sold completely again, and they've added new texture layers available in build mode. We also have an update to Star So version 1.001. Fixed field 9 map end. Sheep pasture forage amount has been increased. Cow pasture forage quantity has been increased. Cow pasture is now sellable. Pigs and horses can now be bought. Teleport to chicken coop has been fixed at the BGA. You can now hand in missions without buying the BGA first. It is no longer possible to hand in missions at the oil mill. Horse pasture has been rebuilt. Pigsty has been replaced. And manure heap has been rebuilt. Also, pumps and hoses don't do errors anymore. A new save game is required for this to work, though. We also have an update to the Puttinger Top 611A version 1.1. Fix the wheels floating on the rear axle. Fix the small heaps being left behind when cornering and small corrections. Next update is the Lizard Cutting Card version 1.1. Added the Fent Cutter Bars 9 into a meter and adjusted the adjustable arrow, or added the adjustable arrow. I don't know what that is. And your last mod update for all platforms is Lime and Beet Pulp Production version 1.001. Production rate has been changed, rock powder has been added, and the rock powder can be sold at the warehouse from version 1.003. Making our way into new mods for PC and Mac players today, the very first one is the Toyota Bandurante Brazil from Contact Amigo Modding. As far as I know, there is also a version of this for all platforms coming, but I don't know when or if that has been actually confirmed yet. All I know is that we should see one. Anyway, this guy has 200 horsepower, manual transmission, 63 liters of fuel, 49 miles an hour. We've got Continental tires on here. We also have Lizard tires, which are chonkers. Michelin, love that. And then back down again. As far as sticker design, we got sticker design number one and number two and number three. Number three looks to be none, so we'll go with that. Attachers, we got a hitch on the very pack or nada. Now that looks a little bit funny because I'll well I'll show you why. We also have main color on here. Here's your main color palette. All of the above. We'll go Massey Ferguson. Color number two. Why didn't they use this for the first one as well? The bumpers get the cool colors. Oh come on now. And then we've got design color back to a standard. Standard bit. Again, that's going to be on top of the car. No wheel rim options. That's interesting. Oh, well, moving on. Uh, we've also got a bodywork on the back. Um, and I'm not really sure which which of these do what. Um, I don't think they hold anything. I think it's just a main strap. We've got a main color for that. And, of course, really, really cool color options for the designs. And then, uh, lastly, we've got this truck bed right here as well. 
It is kind of neat. They look like they come on little lifts. Uh, that's awesome. Next new one for PC and Mac players today is the Hercules 1400 from Bilsma. We've got a 14,500 liter capacity. Also 16,500, 18,000, and back down again. Oh, yeah, by the way, this is from Dutch Modding Inc. I always do a really good job. Well, Brands, Trelleborg, Michelin Tires, BKT, Rydstein, Nucleon, and back down again. we got a couple different options per design. So we have a longer drawbar or a shorter one, depending on how you like to go with that be nice option to have on a lot of different trailers with and without the tractor triangle on the very back and then we have rim colors as well heads up your frame is always going to stay yellow and so are your hubs next new one for pc and mac players today is the molasses tank another placeable but as i said i do not have even the map i shouldn't have shown the less this bad boy right here uh it helps with the maze plus feeding requirements it allows you to add molasses to a tmr mix done in the mixer wagon without having to buy ibc tanks you can buy molasses directly to the farm saving time and money if you want to refill it a suitable tanker ibc's you can do that if you wish tanker is going to cost you 5700 bucks and has capacity of 5,000 liters there's a cool one new mod for pc mag players rounder wrapped round bells <laughs> this mod replaces the look of the default round bells with a more rounded irregular and realistic shape after the bell has been wrapped. That's pretty cool. It uh, works for bells of 125, 150, and 180 centimeters. And the goal is to add a more immersive experience for players who rely on baling grass. If you enable the mod to any existing or a new game save, um, or you can rather, and then you can decide if you don't like the look, you can roll back the default look by disabling the mod. That's really cool. And your last new mod for PC and Mac players today is one that I've been waiting on. This is the real mower with this function. You can mow grass in all areas of the map, but also mows all bushes and weeds. Function is added to all vehicles with the mower specialization, and you can activate and deactivate mod function from the current vehicle. Default call controls are key zero to turn on and off the function for the current vehicle. And making our way into mod updates for PC and Mac players, we got a pair of them. First in is the Critters mod version 1.001. What's missing with the base environment? Cicadas and everything. Uh, it's really loud too and kind of annoying, but nonetheless, version 1.001, they've updated the script documentation. And your last mod today. Oh boy, we made it through. This is a multiplayer vehicle keys from GTX version 1.1. Maximum configuration key limit increased to 30 per player. It fixed a bug where selecting mu or maximum key limit in the settings would reset to number one in the game load. Oof. Also, there are some mod conflicts. They fixed an issue where tabbing to vehicles was still possible, even when other player was holding the keys, and fixed a log error when loading vehicles due to function caused by other mods before all specializations have finished loading. Well, guys, that's it. We made it through, and I appreciate you guys for hanging in there with me today. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like on it. Get subscribed if you're new. Join the Gohan fam. Make sure those notification bells are on as well. That way you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel. Ooh, my cell phone bill is going to be through the roof this month. I hope you guys have a great day, and we'll see you later. Peace.